Hi, I'm Olivia Newman Young. I'm a makeup artist, and today I'm showing you a wearable way to do a pop of colour on the eye as part of my Make Me Up series. First thing I'm going to do is apply my foundation. I've got here Chanel Vita Lumia Aqua. It's a water-based foundation, so it has a little ball in it, as you can hear. I'm just applying that to the back of my hand. This colour is the Beige 30. And with a foundation brush, I'm just going to start from my nose area, working the foundation out. I'm going to do my brows with my HD Brow Palette using the Ash Blonde and Dark Blonde colours. Um, I'm sort of in between brow colours, so I use both of them and mix them in together. I'm going to use my little angled brush, a 266 brush from MAC, and I'm just going to dab a bit of the product on the back of my hand so it doesn't look too strong. I'm going to go in, I always like to go a bit heavier at the bottom of the brow and blend out on the top so it doesn't look too strong and too harsh. Then I just like to arch my brow a bit more there and then elongate it down just to shape the face. I've got here my MAC coffee pencil and I'm just going to start by going in onto the waterline of my eye and around my eye. and I'm just going to take it out a bit. And you can sort of measure out like with the eyebrows, measure that out to see the shape that you want with your eye. Then with one of these little sort of round ended brushes, I'm just going to blend it. You can blend it into the socket, sort of socket line of your eye a bit. And then I'm just going to sort of Draw it a bit into the lashes under my eye and blend that in. Now I'm going to apply um, a eyeshadow from MAC called Wedge. It's just this one here. It's a bit lighter than the pencil I've already been using and I'm just going to apply that over my lid. And this will just help set the pencil as well a bit because the pencil is still creamier than a shadow. This will just help keep it on sort of throughout the night. Now I'm going to add that pop of colour. Um, I'm going to go for sort of lilac-y purple and I have here Last Call from Urban Decay. Mine's in a palette. It's just this sort of shimmery purple colour here. I'm going to use the same blending brush as I used before. Just put it on the middle of my eye and this will help sort of widen the eye by just putting the colour in that middle section. I'm just going to go in with a bit of the purple on a sort of flat brush and I'm going to pop a tiny bit onto the under of my eye just to bring them out a bit more. So I have a light goldy colour here called Honey Lust with a bit of sparkle in from MAC. It's just there. And purples go really well with goldy tones so it's always nice than putting silvery tones. I'm just going to pop with a fluffy brush a tiny bit of that colour just on the inner corner and blending it into the purple. I'm just going to go back in with my coffee pencil in my waterline and just around um, my sort of lashes there just to bring that back out again. I now have a mascara here from Eye of Horus and I'm just going to, with this look, so you've got quite a lot of colour on, you can go for it with the mascara, really build it up. And yeah, feel free to sort of put lots on. Now I've done my eye makeup, I'm just going to do my concealer and that will get rid of any sort of like drop down I have there. Um, I'm going to conceal with my Estee Lauder. Uh, double wear maximum coverage foundation just because I don't want too much coverage. I'm just going to grab a little flat ended brush and feather that on, just concealing where I have any pinkness or any blemishes. 
Next thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of definition to my face. I've got here the MAC Matte Bronze, which is what you called, um, and I'm just gonna apply that sort of around my cheek area. This is a MAC 168 brush, just doing little circular motions. Just going down on my chin, a little bit under my chin, and just a little bit into the hairline. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of pink blush onto my cheeks. I have here, mine's in a palette um, from MAC, but the color is Dame, so you can buy that separately. I'm just gonna use my angled brush again and just pop it to sort of the high apple of my cheek. So I have here an old favorite of mine, and it's called Myth from MAC. It's a very pale one. Um, the thing about this though, because it's matte, it goes on quite heavy. I wouldn't want to wipe it across my lips. So what I sort of learned to do is just pat it onto my lip. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and make sure if you like this video to press the like button. If there's anything you want to see, write down in the comment box and do tune into my YouTube channel. The link will be below. Uh, next week I'm showing you how to get healthy skin, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Bye guys.